Yo, who is this guy? Man, I'm scared to even call this play. That's not shady in the backfield. Man, I got to put my trust in this guy. Come on, punch it in, punch it in. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, hold up. Did he break his ankle? Like, he didn't He didn't just RG3 that? He didn't just get RG3? Hold up. No, 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 no. We need to check this from another camera angle. I could have swore he broke something. Something wasn't right on that landing. Let's check out this camera angle real quick. Hold on. Let me see real quick. Damn! You good? Raymond James Stadium, one of the most unique stadiums in the league, plays host for this preseason matchup between the Eagles and the Buccaneers. Hello friends, Jed Nance along with Phil Sims. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more exciting for the fans. It builds up their enthusiasm because they're out there uh, tailgating all day, getting ready for the game, but also for the players. They lay around no matter what you do during the day. All you can think about is the game. How's it going to work out for us? So I think we're going to see a lot of excitement because of that. Yer What's going on, everybody? It's Alpha King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I hope you guys like that beginning clip in this video. I just wanted to mix something up real quick, you know, add a little bit more to these videos. Now, I know you guys probably like these videos, and I commend you guys for loving them. But I wanted a little bit more out of these videos. And the funny thing is, the more I edit these Madden videos, the more that I see is that it's not too much going on besides me dropping back and passing or me handing off the ball to a runner that I can't control or me just dropping back and trying to run it for myself. Now, I just want to go over two things in this video. Now, the first thing I'm going to get into is injuries. Now, I know you guys have heard this time and time again about the engine that Madden or EA has made for Madden 13. Now, it's definitely not the best engine in the world. It can be tweaked a little bit, and it might even be the best in the coming years. But one thing I want to talk about is the injuries that look like they happened all game long. I've seen a guy break his neck. I've seen another guy tear his ACL, MCL, sprain his ankle, mess up his whole, like he totally destroyed himself this one play. I've seen another guy look like he's, his whole shoulder went out of his socket. I've seen another guy look like he just broke his collarbone. I see, I've seen so many injuries in Madden 13 that hasn't happened that it's unbearable. Now, the reason why I say this is because I'm the kind of guy that when I see an injury, I go, oh, shit. Like, I feel it. Like, literally, I feel like when RG3 got injured, I grabbed my knee instantaneously. Like, I was like, oh, my God. Like, God. Because one thing you guys won't understand is that the reason why I haven't really been uploading that many videos is because I recently got injured at work. Now, me being at work, doing what I usually do with these airplanes, I jumped out of a bin and I landed wrong and I, you know, Sprain my knee, mess up my meniscus, you know, all that nasty stuff. No need to mourn me or nothing like that. Or, you know, say, oh, I can see you're going to be all right. Don't worry about it. I'm going to be good. I'll be back to 100% soon enough. Just got to go through therapy. But one thing I will say is that injuries, when they happen in this game, I literally want to see guys go out on the stretcher. I have yet to see somebody get injured and just go off the field. I haven't seen that yet. People look like they will literally die come back from heaven, and be ready for the next play. It's that, it's that simple. That's all I see all game long. But the second thing that I want to get into besides that is I want to ask you guys your honest opinion about these Madden videos. Now, I recently heard from a few guys that I was popping on Madden, and I didn't, and I didn't know that. Seriously, like dead up. I did not know I was popping on Madden. So I typed in Madden 13, and I saw that my video was the first video to pop up, and I was like, what the f I was like 300,000 views, like seriously? Oh shit, good looking, but I didn't really know that. So people were telling me like, yo, iPod, we know that you're not good at the game and that you don't claim to be, but it seems to me like you need to start getting better at this game if you really want to, you know, take this lane. Now, me personally, I tell you guys every day, I am, I ain't shit. I'm, I'm, I'm not claiming to be the shit. I'm not even claiming to be all right, though. Real shit. I'm just claiming to just play the game, 
cut up a few scenes and make a video. But what I want is a little bit more from Madden, which means I have two ideas. Now, the first idea is, of course, the Madden Connected Careers Offline, you know, season two, first game coming soon. Or, check out this idea, or I create David iPod King Carter, right? I put him in a roster on a regular home screen, which means I put him on the Eagles. I put his, his overall over um, VIX, put him as a starter, and actually play a season inside the regular head-to-head -head mode against the computer. Now, now with this, I would actually be playing with the entire team. I wouldn't just be playing with David Alpock and Carter, passing it, and that's it. I would actually be able to user catch. I would be able to use Shady. I would, I would be able to use Deshaun Jackson on the streak. I would be able to use Macklin across the middle or Selleck on a, on a uh, cutback route. I would be able to do so much more than I'm currently doing because think about it, guys. All I'm doing is handing off the, the ball to guys where I can't control, dropping back passing, or just dropping back trying to run it for myself. And it, and it feels kind of lame because literally after I press the X button and the, and the run play is going on, after I press the button or the A button, I'm done. That's it. My play is over. I have to wait to choose the next play. I don't do anything on defense. You guys don't see me getting burnt. You don't see how ass I am at defense. You guys don't. You guys can literally sit here and say iPod is the best defender on Madden 13, but you guys will never know because you don't see any defensive plays from me. And I want to bring more of that to this game because I feel as though as a Madden player or a person that makes Madden videos, you should see both sides of the ball. It's no way in hell that you guys should actually just see one side of the ball all offense it's like it's like looking at instant offense you don't get to see any defense now check out this dumbass play i don't know what i was doing to tell you the truth this is how as i am in my mind at that moment i was like fuck what is the button to throw the ball away that's how ass i am in madden i don't know what the hell i'm doing here so you know leave it in the comment section tell me what the hell the button is to throw the ball away but what I will say, what I really seriously want you guys to leave in the comment section is my one of two things. Now, it's always going to be Mr. Go For It on 4th. Any chance I get on 4th down situations, I'm going to go for it. That's my name. I got to ride with it. But what I want to do is uh, either you guys want me to stick with Madden Connected Careers offline as in my career mode and only play offense. Or do you want me to recreate David iPod King Carter in a regular home screen mode and actually play with the whole team? Now... We all know that Andy Reid is on his way out the door, or already out the door, but we're just waiting to get a new head honcho. I don't know if they're going to update the rosters this time, this season, or if they're going to wait till next season, because currently, in my offline connected careers, Andy Reid is right there. He got a chip under his belt. He got Vic under his belt. You know, he got me under his wing, and I kind of don't like that. Me, personally, I really didn't like Andy Reid, you know, for... All different reasons, but, you know, being an Eagles fan, you got to take what you get. So, like I said, leave in the comment section. Either you want me to keep the online or offline connected careers, or you want me to create David Ipock and Carter and go into the regular game mode matches, but just mimic the regular season schedule for 2012, 2013, or whatever I need, need be. But this video is coming to an end. I talked for over, fuck, man, listen, I didn't take a break in the commentary. This is straight raw. This is straight live. This is how I do it, man. I just talk, things come to mind, and I, and I let it happen. Look at Andy Reid, punk ass. But like I was saying, <laughs> um, I just want to thank you guys for watching, of course. Um, my next Madden video, I don't know when that's coming out, but I will be recording some Madden videos soon because it's easy being a starting quarterback. I don't have to do all the extra practices and all of that until I want to get to them. So, Madden video is coming soon. As it goes for 2K, woo! I'm still in the Western Conference Finals. Um, I'm looking for the sweep. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with uh, Game 4, but I did hear somebody say that I'm coming up on my 600th video. So, I'm really not sure what I want to do with that video or if I want to make it an appreciation video or what. If I want to, you know, come on camera and say thanks for the subs and all that. But, we'll see. But, this is IKC signing out. And just listen to this Chase Money beat, man. I know y'all been rocking to it. Peace.